ஹாய் 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 வெல்கம் டு கோட் ஐவோ திஸ் இஸ் டே ஒன் ஆஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் ஆஃப் கோட் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் டுடே ஃபார் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் வில் ஹாவ் ஒன் சிங்கிள் வீடியோ ஆன் கோட் ஐவோ இங்கிலீஷ் ஃபார் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் ஆஃப் கோட் சேலஞ்ச் அண்ட் தீஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வில் பி ஃப்ரம் கீக்ஸ் ஃபார் கீக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ லீவ் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஐ மீன் ஐ லீவ் த லிங்க் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸோ யூ கேன் சால்வ் இட் யூர் செல்ஃப் ஆஸ் வெல் அண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் யூ ஹவ் சால்வ் இட் மேக் அ லிங்க் இன் போஸ்ட் அண்ட் டேக் மீ இன் இட் ஸோ ஐ கேன் சி அண்ட் be happy about it okay fine yeah so now uh, we'll ho- uh, go ahead with uh, today's question and the name of the question is upper uh, triangular sum and lower triangular sum right so it's a very simple questions with uh, arrays involved in it and uh, so uh, let me just tell you what the question is basically right so we are given a matrix right uh, it it will be of uh, n cross n size you will be given the value of n as well and you are given the matrix so what you have to do is you are you are going to uh, find the upper and lower triangular sum so what do we exactly mean by that so uh, in this particular matrix right 6 5 4 1 2 5 and 7 9 7 it's a 3 cross 3 matrix so uh, what exactly is the upper triangular part of this matrix is yes, uh, the values that are involved in the upper triangular part of the matrix are 6 5 4 2 5 and 7 okay so it it kind of resembles a triangle right so this is the upper triangular part and the lower triangular would be 6 okay so uh, there was some network issues it seems so it's fine now so uh, 6 1 2 7 9 and 7 this is the lower triangular matrix right this is also kind of resembles a triangle i hope you can see the resemblance there yeah so like upper triangle and lower triangle of the matrix right so if you can see uh, the diagonal elements right 6 2 and 7 these diagonal elements are being considered in both the upper and the lower triangular uh, matrices right so we have to include them in both upper triangular and lower triangular and uh, the elements to the top of the diagonal uh, main diagonal is only in the upper triangular matrix and to the uh, bottom of it is only present in the lower triangular matrix right so this basically is it and uh, we are going to solve this in uh, n square time right so n square is right uh, when you have a nested loop and both these loops run for uh, n time you will get uh, n squared uh, time complexity right so that is that now how exactly are we going to solve this problem it's quite simple right so we are going to traverse through this matrix in a regular way okay so you might have so many other ideas to solve the very same problem but hear me out this is one of the simplest ways that you can solve this problem right so we are going to traverse this matrix in the regular way so how exactly do we do that uh row wise right 6 5 4 1 2 4 1 2 5 and 7 9 7 and we are going to traverse it in this order right all the elements in the first row all the elements in the second row all the elements in the third row now while doing this while doing this you are going to segregate it as upper triangular elements and lower triangular elements right so uh, that is what we are going to do and we are going to just add those elements so initially we are going to have a couple of variables right so the first one let let us consider this as the upper triangular sum and this as the lower triangular sum initially we are going to have 0 and 0 as their values now once you start traversing this matrix okay once you start traversing this matrix you are going to check if the current element that you are present at will come under the upper triangular matrix or the lower triangular matrix and we have certain conditions for that right so let me just mark down the indices so that it is quite easy for you to understand so 0 1 and 2 now when you consider all elements that are present in the upper triangular matrix 
and when you say i as the row index and j as the column index there are a few things that you can observe so when i is less than or equal to j listen very carefully when i is less than or equal to j the element comes under upper triangle okay so we, we will see a couple of examples you will get it better okay so uh, zero in uh, like zero zero so okay the matrix element zero zero here the condition i less than or equal to j is satisfied right so it comes under upper triangular for the second element zero one i again is less than one right so it comes under the upper triangular and for zero two as well for one one as well and for one two as well so for all these elements and in the last row two comma two right so for all these elements the condition i less than or equal to j is satisfied and hence it is going to be in the upper triangular part now there is a very similar uh, a condition for the lower triangle as well which is i greater than or equal to j right so i greater than or equal to j now if you consider the first element 0 comma 0 i is greater than or equal to j yes 0 is greater than or equal to j right and similarly 1 comma 0 1 is greater than or equal to 0 right 1 is greater than 0 so it comes under the condition 1 comma 1 will come under that condition 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 all these are, will come under this condition so this first condition is for upper triangular matrix and the second condition is for lower triangular matrix now if you can observe one thing if i is less than or equal to j it is in upper triangular if i is greater than or equal to j it is in lower triangular so we can use the very same conditions that we have just written and make a code out of it with one single nested loop and it will work right so what you can do is you can first check if i is equal to j right because that is the common factor here or you can straight away go ahead and uh, write uh, two if conditions stating i less than or equal to j and I, I greater than or equal to j it will work as well uh, but yeah you can do this as well uh, you can check first that if i equals j and if i equals j you can add it to both upper sum and lower sum or uh, if i is uh, less than j you can add it to upper sum i is greater than j you can add it to lower sum so now we'll we'll just do this for this uh, 3 cross 3 matrix and uh, we'll then move to coding right so yeah we are in 0 comma 0 we are just going to traverse this in the regular order we are in 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 satisfies the upper triangular condition right because i is less than or equal to j so it is added to upper triangular sum and it also satisfies the lower triangular condition because i is greater than or equal to j equals right so it is added to the lower sum as well now we are moving to the uh, second element the second element is 0 comma 1 right the indices of it right 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 satisfies the first condition but not the second one so you are just going to update the uh, upper triangular sum right 6 plus 5 is 11 okay now we are moving to the uh, last element of the first row right so uh, it also it comes under the upper triangular part because 0 comma 2 uh, i is less than or equal to j and it is not equal to so it is in upper triangular part so you are adding it to the upper triangular sum so 11 plus 4 gives us 15 right so 15 is in upper triangular sum now we are moving to the next element which is 1 comma 0 now 1 comma 0 it comes under the lower triangular condition right because 1 is greater than or equal to 0 so you are adding it to the uh, lower triangular sum so 6 plus 1 gives us 7 and uh, 1 comma 1 it is equal right i equals j which comes under both conditions so we are going to add it to both upper triangular and lower triangular so it will be 16 and 8 16 8 right so similarly you can go ahead and do this for the entire matrix so uh, the code will be very simple you are just going to traverse through the matrix and check for these conditions and update the upper triangular and lower triangular sum 
now we'll uh, get into geeks for geeks and try to solve this question so we are in geeks for geeks now i'll give the link to this question in the description and you can go ahead and uh, try it out as well now uh, as we already discussed we are going to create a couple of variables right one being upper sum and uh, we are going to initialize it to zero and the other one being lower sum we are going to initialize it to zero as well okay fine couple of variables done now we are going to traverse through this matrix so how do we do that we are going to use a nested loop for that int i equals zero i less than n i plus plus this i variable is going to iterate through all the rows that we have and uh, inside this i loop we are going to have j as its uh, looping element right so it is also going to go through all the uh, columns that are present in these individual roles and uh, we have n columns right so i less than uh, sorry j less than n fine so this nested loop is going to traverse through the matrix and inside this we are just going to check the condition so uh, if i less than or equal to j we are going to add it to upper sum upper sum plus equals matrix of i j right if j uh, sorry if i greater than or equal to j then you are going to add it to lower sum right lower sum uh, plus equals matrix of i j okay now we are just going to append it to a vector and return it right because uh, the return type of the function is uh, a vector so i'm just going to create a vector and push these elements into it answer dot push back of upper sum answer dot push back of lower sum right and i'm just going to return answer now we'll see if this works okay i've done a very small mistake instead of uh, j plus plus i have given uh, sorry i plus plus so i hope it's fine now we'll see okay every single test case has been passed so hope you got this logic and uh, try to solve this question by yourself and uh, post it in linkedin and uh, tag me if you can so i'll come and see how many of you have uh, done it so hope you are excited for this 100 days of code see you on day 2 bye